know, my mom grew up in Mexico City, and when she came to the United States, one of the main reasons why was to pursue higher education and have more opportunities in the United States. And so I think Tina had instilled that as well, obviously, in herself. She was always there to make sure that I was okay, that I had what I needed. She continues to be there to help with my son, who is a sophomore. And what better way for me to teach my children the importance of education than to have them just look at her and say, look at what they've done with education. Being a minority female, she was definitely put into situations where she kind of had to prove herself. She definitely uh, uses uh, that background and that backdrop to uh, listen in for others who are looking for similar positions and making sure that the work environment is diverse and, and equitable as possible. When I was head of litigation for Baxter International, Tina joined us as a summer associate, at which point I was her boss. What struck me about Tina is she had gravitas even at an early age and was so enthusiastic. She wanted to learn. She wanted to help. She wanted to make an active difference. She's a trailblazer because she uses her authentic self to help others she brings others along with her. And that's what's trailblazing, I think, in an age where people are out for themselves. She recognizes that her successes can and should be the successes of those around her. You know this old saying, rising tides lift all ships? Well, she's the moon goddess because she helps the tide rise. I have practiced with Tina for over 20 years. She's achieved the highest level of success and you can stand on those laurels and really not have to devote a lot of energy to anything else. In sharp contrast to doing that, I watch her devote extraordinary amounts of time and energy to identifying younger lawyers and diverse lawyers who are in need of mentorship. I think in her opinion, diversity is critically important to our industry. To be really honest, I can't keep track of all of the diversity initiatives that she's been involved in, but in many ways, I would say it's as consuming as her own professional practice. I've watched her mentor dozens and dozens and dozens of women lawyers and colleagues in our firm and stand with them throughout their evolution to ensure their success within our firm. I admire that and it inspires me to try to do the same thing. I can't keep up with Tina, but you know, it inspires me as well. When I met Tina Martini 22 years ago as a summer associate, I knew right away that she was a leader in the firm and she was not only just a leader, but she was very welcoming and took an interest in all of us as summer associates. Tina was an anomaly in that area. I think what separates Tina from her peers is her constant effort to help women at all levels. She's led by example that mentorship is not just another part of our job. Mentorship is one of the greatest things that we can do and how we can make our profession a better place. Tina's helped countless people, especially women, become better lawyers, better advocates for ourselves and those around us, and become better friends to each other. She is truly deserving of this award because of that. And we need more Tina Martinis in the world to make sure that we're making the legal profession a better place than what we found it. So Maureen, thank you so much for everything, for the lovely introduction and the video and for all of your support. And a very special thank you to the American Bar Association, the ABA Commission on Women in the Profession, and to the entire team that planned this amazing event. My heartfelt thanks goes out to each of you for this incredible honor. And to the four very special women whom I'm honored and humbled to call my fellow honorees. Congratulations to you all. I'm so very thankful to have members of my family here today, as well as my friends and my colleagues from McDermott. And it is such a privilege to have you here to celebrate. I would not be the professional and person that I am today without having each of you by my side during my journey. This award is so meaningful because of the incredibly important work that the commission does. Its mission is to secure full and equal participation of women in the ABA, the profession, 
and the justice system and to help remove obstacles that impede women's progress so that they can fulfill their dreams. We are all a product of our upbringing and our life experiences. I feel so fortunate to have learned starting at a very young age the importance of dreaming big and to believe that the sky is the limit and to have my family's unwavering support. My mother was a Mexican immigrant and my father's family emigrated from Italy at the turn of the 20th century. My three brothers and I grew up on the North Shore during the 1970s. We did not have a lot of money, but we were all very close. And growing up in the Chicago suburb of Highland Park, we also had a first-rate education. While idyllic in a number of ways, our childhood taught us from a very early age about the difficulties of looking, sounding, and being different. My mother was beautiful, brilliant, and kind. She started college at the age of 14 in Mexico and had wanted to be a doctor. She came to the States for opportunity, but unfortunately she was bullied and ridiculed when she got here because she looked and sounded different. My brothers and I witnessed much of this bullying over the years and experienced it ourselves through high school. Our parents supported and loved us as much as they could through the hurt and the tears. Our lives changed forever when our mother died suddenly from complications of diabetes at the young age of 50. As a 16-year-old girl, I had to reframe my life and my day-to-day -day existence to suddenly be an adult. Each of us picked up the shattered pieces of our lives as best as we could, and we all went on to have successful and fulfilling personal and professional lives. Because of people's generosity and compassion, especially during my darkest days. Making a difference for others has always been incredibly important to me, particularly in the areas of mentoring, diversity, equity, and inclusion. As my mother's only daughter, I feel compelled to experience and achieve what she could not during the 50 short years of her life and to make good use of all of the gifts with which I have been blessed. I feel a strong obligation to help everyone and inspire them to believe in themselves and to persevere. I have so many hopes and wishes for you all as you move through your life's journey. Remember that you are in the driver's seat of life and push the boundaries of what is possible and be comfortable with living outside of your comfort zone. Remember that you are not alone and accept the gifts of time, mentoring, and support that you are offered along the way and be sure to pay it forward to those in need. Remember that life is not linear and there will be ups and downs. Be in the moment and let the joy of those happy moments permeate your being and share that joy with others. Learn from the sadness and take the understanding and empathy you have gained out into the world to make it a better place. And do not let the dark times define you. I wish you all much happiness, success, and fulfillment. And may all your dreams come true. Thank you again so much for this wonderful honor.